Hey Gemini, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. This love reading should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome, welcome. This can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends, to be honest. All right, what's the overall energy for love and romance for Gemini? Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Ew, somebody's getting um, taken here. Hello, hopefully it's our ass. All right, Queen of Pentacles, we have... Uh, Taurus, uh, Capricorn, or Virgo. Also to um, Cancer, Cancer Moon, Cancer Rising, Cancer Venus. That's how I take this Queen of Pentacles. All right. What is um, Gemini's person of interest? What is their uh, What is their person of interest? What's their energy in the relationship? What, what's this person's energy when it comes to love and romance with Gemini? The Emperor. Okay. Some of us may be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. If you're not dealing with these signs, then this person is kind of like embodying these signs. So this person, whoever you're dealing with, Gemini, is kind of like stepping up and, and being a boss here. I like this Emperor energy. All right. I'm like scared to get my hopes up here because this is some bomb ass uh, car, car, cards in the very beginning. All right. Um, how does Gemini feel romantically about their person of interest? Gemini feel romantically about this person of interest. The star. Ooh, there's Aquarius's ass. Let's see. And what is the current situation between these two romantically? What is the current situation between these two romantically? One more time. What's the current situation between Gemini and their person of interest romantically? Okay, six of wands. Some of you definitely are dealing with a Leo or a Jupiter in Leo. Okay, Aries is here as well. Cancer, I feel like um, Aquarius, Capricorn. More will come through though as I start the reading. Best potential outcome between Gemini and their person of interest romantically. This is the only card that fell out. New love. Okay. So some of you guys are like, what do you mean new love? What the hell does this mean? Let me pull one more for you guys. Best potential outcome for Gemini and this person of interest romantically. Getting to know one another. Okay. So for some of you Geminis, I feel like you're definitely coming out of a situation or a, a past relationship that you've invested in. And I feel like this is somebody new that's coming in the star card for me is a very new energy it's not an old energy um so it's kind of interesting um i do want to say this it's funny what's going on right now i feel like up until this point i'm saying this to you because we have father here as your overall archetype there's something here that's developing where i feel like for you, Gemini, you've always been somebody that's given and there hasn't been like this, this other person hasn't been there. Okay. Um, I feel like this is a person from your past. I also feel like too, that whatever that past situation is, I do think that you've ended some type of cycle with this person, whether there was a breakup or there was a separation or something here has ended, a cycle has ended where this person is no longer present. With that being said, I feel like uh, for those of you guys that are dealing with an older person or somebody that has been a constant fixture, I feel like this person is now going to start showing up and coming to the party. Uh, for a lot of you guys, though, if you recently separated from somebody, there's somebody new coming in. All right. With that being said, let's hop in. What's the overall energy for Gemini? The overall energy for love and romance for Gemini. Okay. Kisses. Yes. Come through. Unconditional loving, giving, falling in love. Okay. So I feel like it's going to be a month, number one, where we get our money right. Okay. Because we have the Queen of Pentacles sitting here. This is really about us focusing on our self-worth, what, what we're owed, I feel like, or what we're worth. Obviously, this person is recognizing that because they're coming in as the emperor. And I do feel like this person is coming on very consistently as well as very strong. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for the overall energy for Gemini for love and romance? Why is this here with the Empress? Here we have a pair. Hello, can I come in? 
Libra Taurus energy. Um, I just feel like right now, for whatever reason, like we're really comfortable with what we have to offer. And I feel like we're no longer chasing. Okay. Gemini's like to chase. However, we're over here like, nah, you come to me, okay? Queen of Swords, Ace of Cups. Um, if you want me, you come to me, right? And I feel like we're over here waiting. We're waiting for this offer. I also feel like there's a lot of self-love. And um, if there was some type of third-party situation, Three of Pentacles with the world, that is coming to an end. We do have... Um, uh, Mars in Capricorn here, as well as the world, you know, the world has to do with Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, as well as Capricorn. I just feel like there's a lesson here for us, Gemini, on our self-worth. What are we willing to take? What are we willing to accept? Putting our foot down, realizing that at the end of the day with this Queen of Pentacles and this Empress energy, we have more control over our love life and over our destiny than I think we really understand. Um, but I do think that there is some type of conclusion here, especially with this three of pentacles. Um, what's the, yeah, here we go. What's coming from it? The fool. So Pisces or, uh, Aquarius energy. I just feel like there is something here that you're, that you're going to be embarking, embarking on, whether it's a new journey with somebody that you've been dealing with or this is somebody new. And I feel like for you, you really don't know exactly where this is going. But what I can tell you with the moon and the ace of pentacles is there is something here that is being hidden. There is a solid offer and also a solid commitment here. So Pisces and Cancer is here as well. How would Gemini feel about this? How would Gemini feel about this energy? The Wheel of Fortune, there's Sag. I think that for you, things would be changing. Things would go from being very stuck and very having a level of burden and always being stressed out and depressed and, you know, not exactly knowing where to go, but still being optimistic. And it's moving towards a brand new start with the Page of Wands. So I really like this energy. I think it's fantastic moving. All right. So Gemini, your person of interest is coming through as the Emperor. Give me information on this person's energy, please. Information on this person. One card here for Gemini's person of interest romantically, their overall energy. One card here, please. Okay, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Um, flirting, fun. Here's my thing. I, I do feel like there's a level of abundance. I think this, I think that when either a cycle ends, right, with all this Saturn energy over here, when there is something that's ending, it's like there is something new that begins. And I do feel like this person, whoever you're dealing with, they now know what they want. They want to date you. They do like you. They want to know more information about you. But they're moving at a pace that's very strategical here, especially with this Emperor energy. Can you give me some information on this person, please? Can you give me some information on their person of interest, please? Spirit. Okay, Queen of Wands is here. Nine of Pentacles. They may be newly single. Um, some of you may be dealing with a Virgo or somebody that may have a Venus in Virgo. Um this person isn't overly flirtatious, I can tell you that, especially with them coming in as the emperor energy. Um, but this is somebody who wants to have a relationship, wants to make a relationship work. They're very sensitive with love and, and somewhat reserved, but they do care a lot. And I also feel like this person has a level of abundance um, around them. Queen of Cups. Very caring, very nurturing. This person loves themselves. Um, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. For me, that's more so of a Cancer card. How would Gemini feel about this? How would Gemini feel about this Queen of Cups? Ace of Wands. Ew. I feel like this, uh, I feel like this Queen of Cups is us. I'm going to be honest. And if you can take a look, the Emperor, let's say the Nine of, the Nine of Pentacles is the Emperor. Look at, look at what they're looking at. They're looking right at the Queen of Cups. Now, for some of you Geminis, you may have a Gemini moon, Gemini rising, Gemini Venus, or even um, Mars. But this person is looking right at you, and I feel like they're ready for some type of new start. 
not only that, but there's something here, I feel like, where I, I do think that this person moves very cautiously and they think everything out, very detail-oriented, but they don't want to make a mistake when it comes to you. That's coming in strongly. Can you give me another card for Gemini's person of interest romantically for their overall energy? I have to shout out the chariot, okay? Some of you guys, it's heavy cancer energy, and this can just be the fact that this is forward movement during cancer energy. But I do feel like this person is very safe, um, stable and solid. I feel like they're very secure of themselves. They know what they have to offer, and this is somebody that likes to take charge and handle business. I also feel like there's a strong sexual connection between the two of you. We have the devil with the nine of cups. Um, and with this type of energy, I mean, this is pretty strong. Like this person knows how to make somebody happy and they know how to make themselves happy. Some of you also may be dealing with a Leo because the sun is here. I don't know. I feel like this person is kind of like a breath of fresh air. And I feel like this person is not going to have you stuck in a place with the four of swords where you're constantly questioning or not knowing where things are going with this person. I, I feel like you're going to have a very clear idea with what they want and what they want from you, to be honest. How does Gemini feel about this person? How does Gemini feel about their person of interest romantically? How does Gemini feel about their person of interest romantically? Lightning, sudden changes, shocking news, surprise, transformation. One more card here for how Gemini feels about this person. Date, meeting somebody new, getting back out there, planning a date. So I think that there was something that changed this month, whether it was a breakup, whether it was a breakthrough with your person, but I do think that you're open to getting to know this person. And I think that Gemini, you're probably pretty shocked at how much you actually really like them. Especially with the star card here, there's also a level of hope because the star comes after the tower. So there's a, there's a hopeful energy after something big has ended. And the fact that they're coming in with justice um, we have the Knight of Wands, Ten of Cups. Some of you may be dealing with a Libra, a Sag, Gemini, or even Pisces. I just feel like things are going to move very quickly between you and this person. And I do think ultimately this, this situation is going to end in partnership. But I feel like Gemini, you have to give this a chance in order for this to uh, manifest. Let me ask one more card here for how Gemini feels about this person. You may also feel Gemini with the Knight of Cups or Knight of Wands here that they want to move very quickly. Here's Sag. Um, that they want to move very quickly when it comes to you. Look, right as I said that the lovers, this has a lot of potential. I'm telling you. I do feel like for some reason this person, King of Cups, Eight of Wands, this person is very emotionally mature or emotionally secure where they can give you that emotional need as well as this physical aspect. I feel like emotions translate into a physical sense. This is somebody that wants to be in front of you, that wants to touch you. And for those of you guys that are dealing um, with people at a distance, you may be seeing this person this month. There's something coming in here about you waiting for this person, okay? Or this person has been waiting for you. So I like it. All right, the situation is the Six of Wands. Again, I have heavy fire energy here. There's a lot of like uh, Aries, Sag, and Leo energy, um, as well as Capricorn. Pisces and Scorpio. Okay. What is the current situation between these two romantically, Gemini and their person of interest? What's the current situation? Okay. So I have Chaser and Engagement Ring, but hold on. I'm going to put these back and ask one more time. What's the overall situation between Gemini and their person of interest romantically? What's the overall situation with love and romance between Gemini and their person of interest romantically. Okay. Self-indulgent, focused on self, time to heal, shadow work, 
keeping a positive mindset, manifesting, abundance, and pretty much how I look at it, self-work. I think right now, Gemini, um, I'm going to be honest, I feel like now is a time where you're going to have a lot of people coming at you at one time because your situation is a six of wands, so you are single. Your current situation is one that is a single situation. I feel like at the end of the month, you don't leave single. I really do feel like you're going to end up in a very solid commitment here with somebody that really does want you. And the fact that we have the emperor and empress here, this is a very solid connection. This is like a Beyonce and Jay um, type of connection, um, you know, Michelle and Barack. Like this is a very solid um, empire that I feel like you and this person can build together. But during the time period as your current situation, I do feel like you're working on yourself, whether that's working out, whether that's getting your mind right, Ten of Swords reverse getting out of our head, right? Understanding that sometimes like shit is what it is, right? That's Mercury in Gemini. Um, no longer feeling that amount of hurt and feeling like we can move forward in a very positive mindset. Okay, what do you want me to tell Gemini about their current situation with this person? I also feel like too, with this card, it kind of looks like a dating card, right? It looks like she's riding in to go date. Like she's like she's coming through like all dressed to the nine. If you're a dude, you know, you're all dressed up, looking good, smelling good, feeling good. Like there's something here about getting out there, being seen, dating, being very confident here. Um, and I feel like that's why this emperor spots you from a mile away. But I do feel like you guys are currently in this talking stages, but something very solid is coming, is it is coming forward. Knight of Pentacles, so definitely Virgo energy with the Knight of Swords. So for me, this may be somebody that's even closer to your age, Gemini. It's not, it's not somebody super young or super old, but I feel like this person is very solid. I do. I get that. Give me another card here for Gemini's current situation. You may even have more than one person that you're dealing with, you may get an offer from a um, earth sign or even an air sign. Three of swords reversed. Okay, why is this three of swords reversed for Gemini? It's, it's like the hurt is gone because of the queen of wands. Okay, hold on. That's Aries energy. Who is this Queen of Wands? Leo, Sag, also Cancer energy. What do you want me to know about this Queen of Wands for Gemini? The Queen of Wands is this King of Pentacles. How does Gemini feel about this? How would Gemini feel about this? Ten of Swords reversed. How would Gemini feel about this? I also feel like, too, though... Seven of Swords reversed. Seven of Wands reversed. Let me grab let me gather some of these cards really quick because I don't have a lot of cards here. And I want to be able to, to articulate and tell you guys exactly what the hell is going on. So hold on a second. Let me pull all these cards in. Alright. Why is okay, how does so how you feel about this Queen of Wands is the King of Pentacles? Okay. How does this, how does this King of Pentacles make Gemini feel? Ten of Cups. Okay, one more time. How does Gemini feel about this Queen of Wands? Gemini feel about this Queen of Wands? Three of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Here's what I think. I think that um, this person coming in is going to be the one to take that action with you. I think that you're a little bit timid, especially with the Three of Swords, Ten of Swords. Even though those are reverse, I still feel like that's in the back of your head. So this person is coming through, and they're physically taking forth those actions towards you. And now also, I feel like they're going to lock it down. King of Pentacles, there's Taurus. And I feel like during this month, we're really going to work on, okay, Virgo, we're really going to put forth the effort and really work out the details with how to make this work. 
can I be happy with this person? Is this going to work? Can this work? What does this look like? It's a lot of different things going on, but honestly, I feel like the situation is changing and it's getting better. And I do feel like this emperor, okay, possibly an Aries, is not going to want to let you go or a fire sign. Aries, Sag, or Leo, or Taurus. Like this person is going to want to work through things with you because they don't want you to be with anyone else. I feel like this person definitely sees your worth. So uh, with that being said, I love you guys and I will talk to you next time. Peace.